Now, a lot of y'all DM me saying that y'all wanted me to do the Latoya and Adam situation, which this was a lot, okay? This was toxic at its max, <laughs> okay? I sat down for two hours because Adam did an interview with Tasha K for 43 minutes and Latoya did a Q&A on her channel that she shares with her boo, Shade, for 50 minutes. And when I tell you that it was a lot going on, it was a lot. So I'm gonna try to break this down in the shortest way possible. I'm gonna break down the agreement, the main points, and the problem. Now, let's start off with the agreement. Now, what they both agreed on when it came to both their videos is that this relationship moved extremely too fast. And it started out as business. It was supposed to be a collaboration, which they were supposed to help each other's channel. He had a fitness channel. He had 15,000 subscribers. She had her funny Latoya Forever channel, which she had 30,000 subscribers. And it was only supposed to be about business. They ended up dating after two weeks of knowing each other. And then they moved in with each other after six months. That was fast as hell and they both admitted it. They didn't have time to get to know each other, see if they were even compatible, if it really works. It was almost like, okay, your channel was taking off after six months of us being together. Let's focus on your channel, which was the Latoya Forever channel. Adam was the business minded person. She was the talent. So it went together business wise. What they didn't realize that business can't transfer into a relationship. And that's the part that they didn't figure out. And this is why Latoya said in her video that she was never in love with Adam. It was always about business. She had love for him because they had three kids together and they were together for nine years, but they were never in love. She felt like it was all about business. He was never her soulmate. They didn't have no real affection. They didn't have a real bond. Whereas Adam is saying that he did care for Latoya. He did love her, but he wasn't in love with her. So they're both admitting that the relationship moved fast and that they weren't in love. They didn't have enough time to be in love. You know what I mean? It was all about their brand. This is what Adam's problem was. I'm tired of living for the cameras. I want to actually create something real off of camera rather than pretending like we're perfect. I want to be perfect in real life. And that was the breaking point for him in this relationship. But Latoya sort of ignored his feelings and she was still trying to make the relationship work up until the point that they had Samia in 2014. And then at this point, they went from a business fake relationship to now both sides, Latoya family and his family is now pressuring them to get married because now she's pregnant and they feel like, yo, you can't have a child out of wedlock. You have to be married. This is not good for your brand. Y'all supposed to be black love. Y'all supposed to show examples. So now at this point, they're pressured. They end up getting married before they have Samia. And now they're married. Now they with Samia. Now this is when the problems are slowly starting to happen because now Latoya has Samia. And at this point, Adam wants her to be a wife. He wants her to be a mother, but she still wants to party. She wants to hang out with her friends. She wants to drink, which if he didn't know, this is a little bit of what Latoya's brand was. She was the party, happy, go lucky, like filming everything and joking around and stuff like that, but it started to spill over into their relationship and it looked like he didn't really want this. So then in the midst of all of this, her drinking and partying, she ended up becoming pregnant and Adam felt like it was too soon to have another child. This was a year after having Samia, he wasn't ready. He felt like she should abort the baby because she was drinking, she was partying, she was doing things that a mother shouldn't have been doing if she was pregnant. And he felt like this child would have complications due to the fact that she was doing all of these things. So he was asking her to give this child up, which this was the turn for Latoya in their relationship. This was her breaking point. Whereas Adam's breaking point started way before that and she was ignoring it. This was her breaking point because she thought this was the happiest point in their life. And this was really turning into misery. And she ended up having Zayn anyway. And the situation ended up getting even worse to the point where now Latoya was stepping out of the relationship. She was flirting with other guys and she was cheating where she was on a boat and she ended up cheating on Adam. She ended up flirting with this guy, kissing the guy, hugging the guy. They didn't have intercourse, but that's still considered flirting. And somebody who she thought was her friend was on the boat and was recording this whole situation and gave it to Adam. So when she went home to Adam, Adam was furious and she didn't even know. She didn't even get a heads up. So she's pretending like everything was okay. She goes to bed and she's thinking everything is fine. She's about to get her beauty rest. And then he comes in and he snatches her off the bed, drags her by her leg off of the bed, and then pins her up against the wall and chokes her because he is furious that she would even do something like that to not only destroy their relationship, but the brand. They're supposed to be black love. They're supposed to be showing us what black love look like. And here she is on a boat kissing 
kissing and flirting and hugging on a guy and let's say this footage would have got out to the world because you gotta keep in mind that yes they do care about their love but they care about the brand even more so now he's upset she gets away from the situation as quickly as possible because she's totally shocked by the whole situation she runs out the house she gets to a neighbor house she calls on Jillian now she didn't call the police because she didn't want any problems as far as being deported or him going to jail because they do have kids together so she tried to reach out to a family member he ended up finding her and he bought the kids and he's like yo listen let's get back in the house let's talk about this which they ended up talking about this but you can see that this relationship was beyond a breaking point you know what I mean like at that point both of them should have walked away but they did not walk away they proceeded in the relationship they pretending like everything was okay Latoya was still cheating on Adam according to them Adam is saying that he stayed in the relationship because he wanted his family to work and he loved his family and it was all about his family 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 whereas Latoya was saying that he was pressuring her by saying oh you're gonna mess up your brand and we you know we have a family and you're gonna mess up the whole family bond and the black love so Latoya felt pressured far as her brand wise to stay in this relationship but she felt like Adam really wanted to stay in the relationship because of financial gain she was the person that was making the money she was the one that had the brand but little do we know she might have been the person with the brand but Adam actually owns the brand he actually has the paperwork to actually snatch her brand away see we didn't know that part so <laughs> oh it's it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> sit back i'm still going at this point they're trying to fake it they're trying to stay in this relationship and at some point latoya's like listen he has taken possibly everything i could give him i'm ready to walk away from this situation which adam felt the vibe felt the energy and he obviously didn't want this to end and according to Latoya he took her out got her drunk and she blacked out when she came home and she supposedly said that she does not remember the intercourse of having her third child and he came up to her a couple of weeks after that with a pregnancy test saying that listen I think you're pregnant you're sleeping a lot which he already knew she was pregnant because according to Latoya they had intercourse and she doesn't remember it and this is how she ended up finding out about her third child crazy this is a crazy situation. The toxic still goes on. Now Latoya, who wants to leave this relationship, now is forced to stay in this relationship, which she feel like she's trapped in this relationship because now she's pregnant with her third child. Like, what are we gonna do here? While she's pregnant with the third kid, Adam is now talking to a young lady and talking about meeting up with this young lady and, you know, having conversation. And Latoya's like, listen, why, you know, why are we still doing this at this point? <laughs> you're talking to other people, you're having your fun and you're texting people. What, what are we doing? we should just end this and after she had her third child that's pretty much what they were doing they were ending this whole situation they were ending this misery she talked about divorcing him but she didn't file he ended up filing because he was like listen if you don't want this relationship to work and i'm trying to force it to work if you don't want to make it work then hey come on let me file so he filed and then this is when real housewives of Atlanta stepped in and they presented this offer and latoya was like listen let's make it work you know we're in love you know we're we should try to make this work show people what black love look like all the stuff we've been through we can still make this work so adam who fell for the situation withdrew his divorce papers and he was gonna be on the show once upon a time but then latoya's actions wasn't adding up to what she was saying and that's why he felt like listen i don't want to be in this marriage if your actions is not gonna meet your word so then he declined the offer of being on real housewives of atlanta and that's why latoya ended up being a friend on the show rather than having a peach like drew because you have to have your family and everything that's going on behind the scenes on the show. And Adam is like, listen, not only do I not want myself on this show, but I don't want my kids on this show. Until she get a divorce from Adam, she can't be on the show. And unless she gets okay from the judge, the kids can't be on the show. So... <sighs> It, it, it's it's a messy situation when it comes to this whole situation and this is why Latoya ended up filing for divorce because she like okay we have nothing left if you don't want to be on the show and you don't want no parts of the show what are we being together for we have nothing to be together for okay I was gonna fight for the relationship we was gonna pretend and be happy go lucky like we've been doing for nine years but you don't want to be on the show so I'm gonna file for divorce and that's what she did she filed for divorce and now they're actually going through the divorce process because neither one of them wants to be together and they don't want to make it work but during this whole divorce situation Latoya was still staying in the house with Adam which it was a lot of toxic stuff going on a lot of arguing a lot of fighting and 
Latoya felt like even though she filed for divorce, she felt like Adam had the upper hand because she was cheating throughout the marriage. And if you don't know, through the court's eyes, if there's one person that does infidelity in the marriage, you're the reason for the problem. So it could have been a possibility, which I'm not saying that it is, that Adam could possibly get as far as the money, the property and everything else, he could end up getting everything. And that's what she feared for. And she put a GPS on his car, which he ended up finding the GPS. And then she ended up buying a gun and he's like yo we've been living in Atlanta for a few years you never got a gun and now all of a sudden we going through a divorce you got a gun now what's what's going on here <laughs> so now he feels like she's trying to kill him so he put out a restraining order and that's why she ended up having to leave the house because he felt threatened by her because she got a gun now so child <laughs> just put me on the stretcher honey because this is too much somebody revive me please oh my god Child, I said, Jesus Christ, this, oh man, this nine years was, was, uh, this showed me, I mean, the Damo and Chrissy situation really showed me, but this really showed me how YouTubers turn on that camera and they put up that 20 minute vlog and we don't know ish. You hear me? It could be so much stuff. They could be killing each other behind the scenes. All kinds of stuff could be going on and we just sitting there like, oh yeah, they're so in love. They should stay together. They should have more kids and all those other stuff we be saying. And really behind the scenes, they killing each other. Cause there was a lot going on. Okay. And I'm not even done. Now let's fast forward to Latoya's new guy. Now she did a video saying that this was just her friend, but obviously Adam and Latoya are still married. So she has to say this is her friend, even though we know quote unquote, this is her boyfriend. Now he is a fitness trainer and they now have a YouTube channel together, which ironically, this is how her relationship started with Adam because Adam was a fitness trainer and then she met him and then they started doing videos together and then they had a channel together. So it's looking like uh, too much deja vu going on because it's like, what do you, you, you haven't learned anything? Are you trying to repeat the cycle to see if you can actually change what you messed up back then? Because... It's looking like you're going down the same path and you have to acknowledge the problem where you went wrong in the relationship. Then you have to understand it and then you have to change it. You didn't even give yourself enough time to do all of that. Like sis, what are you doing? <laughs> but anyway, Adam and Tasha K during their interview, they implied that the guy, the new guy is intimate. They said that this new guy is using Latoya. He doesn't really care about women. He really is into guys more than women. And he's just pretending and just trying to come up off Latoya. And Latoya said in her video, she doesn't care about his history with guys. Whatever he's doing with her, she's happy. She enjoys it. And she doesn't care about his history. And Adam is like, that's fine. <laughs> but keep that over there with you. I don't want this guy around my my kids. Adam is saying that he wants her to pay alimony. He wants her to pay a fee because he still has their original house in Atlanta, as well as he's fighting for full custody of the kids because he feels like she's an unfit mom. She's rushing into this relationship. She's not considering, you know, the children feelings and what they're going through, the divorce and everything. So he is fighting for full custody. And then Adam was implying in this interview with Tasha K that Latoya is still making pass at him. She still wants to sleep with him and be with him. And she's still talking about, oh, this, that, and third flirting with him and trying to get up on him. And he's like, no, don't you got new dude over here? You in a relationship with this dude, you still trying to get at me? And the crazy part about this too, is that he said that how she's acting on a Real Housewives of Atlanta is no surprise to him. This is how she is in their marriage. And this is why he's trying to get away from her. And I was a little shocked by this Real Housewives of Atlanta season, cause I'm not used to Latoya acting like this. So I'm, I'm a little shocked by it, but he said he's not shocked at all. This is her. Welcome, Latoya, forever. Woo, I need a drink. Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next time, peace.